To transfer Facebook page ownership, first head over to Facebook and then switch from your personal profile to your page profile by clicking on your account on the top right hand side and then clicking on the page you want to switch ownership of. In my case, I'll select my page Yes to Tech. Once you've switched into your Facebook page, click on your page on the top left hand side and then click on Settings from the left hand side panel. This will take you to the Settings and Privacy panel. Under Audience and Visibility, click on Page Setup, and then on Page Access. Where it says People with Facebook Access, click on Add New on the right. Just so you know, Facebook Access means you can switch into the page and manage it directly on Facebook or by using other tools like Meta Business Suite or Creator Studio. Any action you take as this page, including on ads or when checking into a location, may be visible to anyone else who manages it. Anyone with Facebook access will have a shared experience, including your feed and your notifications for this page. However, each admin will see ads that are personalized to them based on their activity across Meta products. Go ahead and click on Next at the bottom. Now choose who should have access to this Facebook page. You can either search by name or by email. I'll go ahead and search for the person I want and then click on them. With Facebook access, this person will be able to manage the following. Content, create, manage or delete posts, stories and more as the page, messages and calls where they can send and respond to direct messages and make calls as the page, community activity where they can review and respond to comments, remove unwanted comments and report activity, ads where they can create, manage, and delete ads for the page, as well as insights where they can see how the page, content, and ads perform. Since you want to transfer Facebook page ownership, you need to make sure you toggle this option to allow this person to have full control to on. By toggling this option to on, you're saying that anyone with full control can give access to others, remove anyone from the page, including you, or delete the page. Once you're done clicking on these options, click on Give Access at the bottom. For your security, you'll be prompted to re-enter your Facebook profile password to confirm that this person should have full control and can access everything you can. So let's go ahead and insert our password in the space provided, and then click on Confirm. As you can see, that person now has Facebook page access. They will receive an invite link in their email and this invite will expire in 31 days. Once this person has Facebook page access and has accepted the invitation, they can go back to this page over here, find your name in this space where it says people with Facebook access and click on the three little dots on the right to then click on remove access. In my case, it says cancel invitation since the person hasn't yet accepted my invitation. All you have to do is click on that and in the case of transferring Facebook page access, it will also prompt you to enter your password to confirm that change. If you want more Facebook tips other than how to transfer Facebook page ownership, make sure to click on the video on the screen right now.